Bob Huggs had, I mean, Sachs has two at halftime and ends up with 26. He said it was just energy, but what, what did you see was the difference? No, that was a lot of it. They, they were trying to take the pain away from us, and so there wasn't really anybody guarding them. I'm okay with him shooting it. I just, he can't shoot it on the first pass. I mean, we, we got beat by Western Kentucky because whoever got it shot it. You know, we can't do that. But if we run some, run some motion and, and some curls and things, and he steps back and got his shoulder square, he, he's worked really hard at shooting it. So. Coach, just one turnover in the second half. I know that's something that you guys are you know, stressed to these guys. Uh, just kind of what, what you saw there, what you thought, anything, uh, anything different there? Well, they didn't. They didn't really pressure us much. Um, but we 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 did pass the ball better. We've we've put an enormous amount of time in trying to trying to teach them how to feed the post and pass the cutters and those kind of things. What has Emmett Matthews given you guys these last two games? Well, he's just getting better and better, and he's. It's hard to get better if you're not coachable, and and he's he's really coachable. He's terrific, and uh, <clears throat> wouldn't shock me if he didn't bypass some other guys that aren't as coachable. Well, Edo Beetle West Harris did not play injury with or what was the situation with him? coach's decision? Beetle's banged up, but. Uh, that wasn't the, the reason he didn't he didn't play, but he is really banged up. He's got he's got a bunch of swelling and inflammation in his elbow. And of course, it'd have to be his shooting elbow, which <clears throat> they're going to have to get all that out of there and uh, get it down before you know. And and, and you know the concern is that um, he's going to be in really terrible shape. And, and he's a he's a very well conditioned guy, but you just you don't get in basketball shape, and that's that's good. that's what happened to us the Buffalo game. You know, he was in full body cramps, and he's he's done less uh, practice wise since since then as, as than he did before that game. So uh, it's going to be a while. Bob, let's say you went, like Kanate says today, that his first half was bad because he didn't have any energy in the first half. A, a player that feels they don't have energy, how, how, does, how does that happen when you work all week to, to play a game? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I, 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 think, I think, Bob, that people have stopped challenging him at the rim. And he he got his if if you kind of think back he got a lot of energy and enthusiasm by blocking shots, and he didn't block a shot today. Uh, and but I mean people just aren't attacking him. They're they're coming in, they're jump stopping and trying to dump it down to his guy if he helps up or pitch it out and shoot a three. Nobody's really we haven't played anybody yet, even Western Kentucky, and they got some pretty doggone good athletes. They didn't really. Try to attack us, attack him at the rim. That play you run with Issa, where he kind of curls around the screen and you kind of get him going to the basket. Um, you know, he kind of talked about that's a play where he has a lot of different reads <coughs> on which way he can go and stuff. And you know, he says he kind of enjoys it. I imagine he would when he has a night like this. But you know, is that something you guys work on a lot in practice? Is that just something designed specifically for him? Well, if you go back to the Buffalo game, we had him wide open and Nap threw it over his head up in the stands. Same play, you know, at a, at a really critical time. Um, Issa is very, very good at playing without the ball. He, 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 he cuts without the ball. He understands this guy turns his head. He can cut by him. Uh, he does a good job of of curling it into the rim, 
rather than, you know, a lot of those guys that ran what – if we ran for some of those guys, they'd end up veering that way instead of curling it at the rim like he does. Uh, you know, he had all those turnovers because he's not he, – he is, he is way, way, way better without the ball than he is with the ball. And um, we, we kind of came to that understanding. And he's played much better. And he's, and he's actually been in the gym, and he's, he's shooting the ball better, too. How much does it open up the lane for him when, when Sags can hit that shot and drag a, a Smits outside? Now, see, but, but that really, I mean, it, it helps him in other ways. It doesn't help him uh, with what we run for him because Smits is involved in the screen. He's guarding the screener. So he's and he's so he's got to be out of the lane. It was more when we were just we were trying to run some some continuity stuff. They were standing in the lane when Sags got his shots. Uh, we axed off of them and and uh, we were down screening or back screening and and he had he has well, he has the ball in that situation all the time because it's got to go either way and he's he's open so. I just don't want him to shoot it quick. That's all. So you can you can shoot it as long as it's not quick. Do you think it's been hard on Asa to grasp the idea of what you've been trying to get to him? Maybe maybe for three years now, and and that now possibly it's it's coming to him, and you might see a lot more of this. Well, these guys, AAU I think conditions these guys that they have to have the ball, and it's been a. You know, I, I kind of get him playing without the ball, and then he's back handling the ball again. And, and handling the ball is not his not his thing. I mean, he he's not he's not a real explosive kind of athlete, and uh, but he's he's really a good basketball player because he understands how to play. You know, he he grew up playing with his dad. His dad, I think I think his dad still plays, and, but he grew up playing with with men. You know, with his dad. And so you you know he didn't have the ball, so he's 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 learned really learned to play without it very well. Looked like a few sets of two three in the second half, and maybe point drop. Is that part of the search for something else you can do to change the pace? Listen, I I tried everything. Um, you know, we we tried one three one early in the year, which used to be pretty good for us. Uh, we were going to play one one three, but one one three is a little a little harder. You got to you got to teach a whole lot more. And I thought we'd just go in the old you know church league two three maybe and make them shoot it over us, and they shot layups. What about search still continues. Through? Search is ongoing. Yes. Well, I'll talk defense a little bit. I mean, your team today gave up fifty three percent shooting. You forced. When I say only 14 turnovers, it was only 14, and <coughs> six of them came from the center. Uh, you know, it, it didn't seem, you know, there were a lot of open shots and, and the like. So, is this a work in progress? Is that what what it is? Well, we, one, we don't have the foot speed that we've had. There's no, there's no Tariq out there. There's no Tavon out there. There's obviously no JC and Dax. Uh, you know, we, we just don't have the foot speed that we had before, for one. And then, and then secondly, our, we, we are really poor fundamentally. Our footwork is, is atrocious. <clears throat> and when, when you have bad footwork, it's, it's hard to stay in front of somebody. And, you know, because of the way we've played, we get pretty spread out. And, and I, you know, I, I'm afraid... I don't. I don't want to give in to them, you know. But I mean, we may be a better pack line team. Just just sit in the gaps. Uh, but then you're. I mean, you're letting people shoot threes. You know, you're hoping they don't make threes. So I don't. And and, and you can't create much. You don't create many turnovers. If that makes sense. It always makes sense. Do I? 
Well, I got a couple of guys sitting in the locker room that don't think I make any damn sense. That's different. <laughs>